Oh, sound great, Mark. My first guest stars each week in the CBS series Scarecrow and Mrs. King. We also know her as one of the original Charlie's Angels, and they always said she's the one with the brains, but she also had a lot of beauty. This Saturday at morning, she's going to be the sponsor of a tennis tournament at UCLA, which is starting at 9.30, and the money will go for battered and missing children. Will you please welcome the adorable, the sexy, the dynamic, my good friend, Kate Jackson. <laughs> You brought T-shirts? Yes, like, okay, this is what I have to do. I, I brought something for the tramp. Uh, our band tramp. And then right. something for you, for you and I, okay? Okay. Uh, so I'll go give this to the tramp. Okay. And, and you keep this, and, and don't show it. No, either. I you promise. You can peek. I promise. Don't open I, it yet. I will. I promise. Okay. All right. Now, this is for Beverly. It's the band tramp. Okay, now, don't, don't show it to the people yet. Okay. But when you do, show it proud, okay? Okay. All right. I haven't seen it. All right, wait. Don't open it yet. Okay, okay. I've never done it in my life. <laughs> Don't show it I'm to the people yet. Yeah. I haven't Don't. Get ready to open it and right. show it to the people. All right. Are you ready, ready, Tramp? Okay, okay Tramp, show it, Tramp. <laughs> Wait a minute. one-night stand? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever, like, meet somebody? We can talk now. We're very close. No, Let's well, both <laughs> put this back on and we'll call these truth t-shirts. Okay. Did, did you ever, ever have, uh, meet somebody, and it was very romantic. I don't just mean, like, you know, as, did you ever spend, like, one night with someone and never see them again? We're, we're not sh shown in Alabama, are we? <laughs> no. No. Because, uh, you know, the answer, it will make a difference. No. In whether or not I tell it. No, in fact, it won't make any difference. I won't tell the truth, no matter where we are. <laughs> Did you ever have a two-night stand? The, uh, uh, yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh! Uh, well, look, I mean, nowadays, that's almost like a meaningful relationship. You no. know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. Isn't that great? I'm so jealous. I am... <laughs> and I'm only kidding. No, the camera, you mother. Should, no, you shouldn't. Why should it be double standards? Men have that. Yes, they do. I, th I think it's because women are more sensitive. I think we want much more than just, you know, ding dong, in and out, and have a good shot. <laughs> yeah, 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 I, I don't mean, I mean ringing the bell, going into the apartment, coming back. I, I don't mean... <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I think women are more sensitive. Even, and especially when you're good looking, you don't need that because you have so many men. But I was looking at People Magazine, speaking of good looking. You know, I haven't read that article yet. So the it's going to take me three of you like look homeward angels, and they show all three of you ten you know years that later. That's a, 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 the Time Magazine cover. You know, we were on the cover of Time Magazine. It was one of, one, of the, one of the most incredible things I ever did was look on my coffee table and see myself on the cover of Time Magazine. Yeah, but do you go to the... Do you, do you, when you see yourself in a magazine like Time, people you can expect to see yourself in because it's a current magazine. But Time... Didn't you think, my God, to be on the cover of Time? That really meant something. Yeah. yeah. Did you frame it? Yes, I did, as a matter of fact. I would. I did. Yeah. yeah. What room did you put it in? It's in a hallway. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you keep your trophies? In the back hallway. Yeah, is that because you're embarrassed? Well, no, you know, I mean, that, it was great, but it was also yesterday. So. Now, these three girls, which is amazing, ten years later, all three of you are still major stars. Sarah Fawcett. And um, Jackie, I know. Yeah, you know, Jackie, I'm just, I, she just had another little baby. You know, she has a little boy, a little girl, a little baby, Spencer, and I'm her godmother. So you're very friendly with the three yeah. of you. Yeah. Isn't that nice? That's nice. Ten years later, still stay yeah. friends. Who weren't you friendly with as they came through? After well, the I didn't movement? know uh, the two who came after me. I, m I met Shelly Hack, and she was very nice. And uh, Cheryl and I were never that close, but we were, we were, you know, I mean, we were all pretty friendly. But not friendly like this. No. Jackie and I, I think, are probably the, the closest. 
But we really, really say good friends. What do you do like you say good friends? Don't you work all the time, and now you're producing, and you're directing, and you're starring. I mean, it's major work. No, <laughs> nobody thinks, you, you, you know, how hard it is, what goes on behind the scenes. Yeah, it doesn't leave a lot of free time. Yeah. But... How often do you see your friends? Well, well I'm, I, you know, I talk on the phone a lot to, well, to, for instance, to Jackie and to my family in Alabama. I don't see my friends nearly as much as I wish I could, but th let's see, this is uh, before Project 7 and I'm, I'm right, 11 years of series television now at the end of this year, and um, I, I've managed to keep up pretty well, but I really have for 11 years. It's been a long, Give me a, a long haul. A typical day, typical day when you're working and then a typical day when you're not working. Um, when I'm working, I get up about 5 o'clock in the morning. They pick me up at 5.30. I'm on the set. Makeup? Oh, makeup, hair, wardrobe, uh, learning lines, some changes here and there. If I'm directing, I'm up even earlier, and there even earlier. Um, and then we work, you know, until lunch, and usually have a half-hour lunch, and then work. I usually work a 12, 13-hour day. When I'm directing, it can go as long as 18. That's a long day. It's a horrendous day. But, it's a lot, but directing is a lot of fun. You know, I like it especially on the days that I'm not acting. When I don't, I found myself saying, when I don't have to work. When I just direct, you know, when I go in and direct. Because then, I, you know, it's, it's a lot looser. It's more fun. Do you find, because you're so sexy, and you're an object to a lot of people, do you find it's very hard for men to take you seriously? I don't know. Um, when you direct, cause director oh, is a oh, person of authority. No, no, because you know, <clears throat> I really, um, I'm, I've, I've been in front of the camera doing this for so I'm not, you know, I'm not ready to do uh, a, a big movie or anything. But as, as a way of learning, I read an article in the, in uh, that Steven Spielberg had, in, uh, an interview he had given, and he said, you know, the only way you really learn to do it is by doing it. You can't watch another director direct and learn to direct. So. Um, I just found that I could take the script, and it's not going to be brilliant every week, take the script that I'm given and do the best job with it that I can and try to make nice moving pictures. Try to make it so that it's not a show that you can walk out of the room and hear the sound and you don't need to see it because that would just be radio, which I think television is guilty of a lot. Yeah. So, um, but no, and the crew t takes me seriously, I think, because I'm excited about it and, you know, I'm trying to think of a little way to do it a little bit differently and make it a moving picture. Did you ever think... Because I was reading your biography back, back in my dressing room. You came out alone, a girl alone. You got in a car and you just drove out here. No. And you said, I'm going to make it in the business. Did you ever think you'd make it to the extent you made it? I mean, where did you think you'd end up? I never doubted that I would um, do everything that I've done. And there are still so many things yet to do. I know that there's one... one um, the, the lady that wrote this article in, in People, it said something about I was stuck in, in the, I forget the, the adjective of series television. And I would just like to say to that lady, I haven't heard the fat lady sing yet. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see in a second. Coming up is Michael McDonald, Howie Mandel. But you have to answer these messages, so please stay tuned. We'll see.